All right, we're getting ready to cook our long nose gar here. This is actually a pretty good sized chunk of meat. We're gonna cut it in half, be, uh, a couple of reasons. I would cook it whole, but we got some of this I am going to send to exoticmeatmarkets.com. And the other thing is I wanted to show you in my cleaning video, I didn't, you didn't get a real good picture, a real good view on how we come in behind the scales and cut this. If you watch that, you can just follow that scales. There's like a row. Then you follow them and they'll go right up to the top and then you can see where they start going back the other way and that's what you do just like that and then that'll get you this cut right in half here I'm telling you guys these new fillet knives that Melissa got me Bubba knives pretty freaking awesome let just break his back going over the table here there we go So, we got that done. This chunk right here, I'm gonna extend to my good friend at Exotic Meat Market. He's gonna try gar for the first time. And now, since Melissa and uh, my mom and everybody's gonna eat tonight and they have never tried gar, um, and bones kind of freak them out, I'm gonna take this backbone out. If you were to cook this normally, you would just poke some holes in here and let that butter and stuff go down there. But otherwise, you can just go in right underneath the right underneath the ribs you can see the knife in there and it just comes come right out just like that so that's all you got to do we got the grill warming up we're going to cook these on the grill and uh see how this all turns out so let me get this backbone out of here and then uh we'll be back to cook it up all right we took our backbone out of our gar looks just like that so we have basically two meaty fillets inside the skin yet. Now, gar is not textured like other fish. This is kind of going to kind of puff up and peel away, and and uh, it, sh it, it doesn't flake like other fish. But uh, we're going to put some garlic powder on here. You can pretty much season these any way you want. Couple other ways of cooking them. Guys like to just take the back straps out and and deep fry them, cut them up in chunks. Other guys like to. This is Italian season. Other guys like to grind it up, grind it up, and then uh, make uh, what they call garbles out of it. Guys call it garbles. They grind them up and then they they just season them up. And this is a little back forty garlic and butter. And then what we're gonna do? We're just gonna take and put our butter on here. And this will melt down and then halfway through we're gonna add some more butter to it. But this has kinda got its own little cooking plate. So it's great if you shoot one out there and you wanna cook it up on the barbecue grill or in a fire. I've never done it in a fire, but I'm sure you could do it right up in a fire. So I almost got this ready to go. You know, this is just one of them things, you know, gar, buffalo. Um, I don't eat too much of the carp that I shoot. I'll admit to that. I, most of them go to the fertilizer. But gar and buffalo and stuff like that, I really like to eat them. So here we are. We're ready. Just going to flop that baby right there, right on the grill. It's ready to go. It's going to cook in its own hard skin. And uh, we're just going to keep kind of basting it. And there we go. Throw this in the garbage. We'll be back. All right. Time to add some more butter. It's coming along nicely. As you can see, it's kind of coned itself up here. It's getting a lot more, the, the meat is firming up. We'll get some more butter on there. It's still gonna be a while. It hasn't peeled away from the skin yet. So it's gonna be a little bit yet. So we'll just keep cooking it. If it, one more thing. If it starts flaring up real bad because of the butter, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of move it off to the move it off to the side so you're getting that indirect heat and it's not right over them coals. So we'll be back. Alright, real quick, I want to show you. Oh, it's coming along good. See how it's boiling in the middle there? It's starting to peel away. It won't be long now. Oh, doesn't that look freaking amazing? Alright, let's check her out. Whew. You can see where it's pulled away down there. You can check here, it's pulled away. You can see you get your get right underneath there. Now, gar, remember I told you it had that different texture? 
it's more of a firmer like lobster type texture so uh we're gonna take this baby off the grill and serve it up look at that still cooking in the half shell mm. for you to have never eaten gar like I said, it's a little firmer meat, a little bit drier than fish, but not too dry. And it does, like Melissa says, it has a little like fishy aroma taste, but not too bad. It's actually very good. You should try some instead of throwing them in the bank. Hmm. All right, we got our gar in here. We let it cool down just for a second. All you gotta do right here is take and slide this something, a fork or anything right under there. And that meat just peels right on out. Look at that. Just like lobster. Just like lobster. Just like whatever. Yeah, cooking in the half shell. Let me scrape all that meat right out of there. And you're ready to have a hell of a meal. Plus, you can figure out something to do with the scales, I guess. The Indians used to use them for uh, arrowheads, so... That's how hard they are. Let's eat. 